Welcome back, you guys. My name is Game of Wayne. Today's game, we're going to be playing. It's called Pokemon Scarlet. And I have leveled up my Pokemon enough to defeat the gym leader and everything. So, yeah, I have done that. So, I have leveled up all my Pokemon to at least level 31. And I have done stuff like that. So, I'm able to at least try to defeat the gym leader because... If I don't defeat him with skill, because I really don't have skill in the Pokemon game, because I really don't know what I'm doing, I'm just chancing everything, so... Leveling up my Pokemon seems like a good idea, and I am just gonna go for the gym leaders and everything, just do what a normal Pokemon game is, basically defeat the gym leaders, and then if they have it here, then do the Elite Four, if they don't have the Elite Four, then I will just do the um, normal gym battles, and then just do whatever I have to do afterwards. But, yeah, I ha before I go and everything, I would like to heal up my Pokemon just as a precaution because I really don't know if I am doing this correctly or not. So, I don't want to have Pokemon that are actually um, fainted and everything. Like, I really don't know how high their um, health is, so healing them now is a good idea. And I'm not sure if I should and everything. Like, one of my Pokemon, I... I am considering leveling up, but I'm not really sure if I should or not because I, I sort of like keeping them at the, the base and everything, the, the the beginning stages of Pokemon and everything. Like, I was thinking of, can I not press the wrong button? I was thinking of um, leveling up Rattle, Rattle and everything. I think I'm saying the name right. I'm not really, really sure if I'm saying any of the Pokemon names right, so you guys are going to probably correct me or something, but... Yeah, I'm thinking of leveling up that Pokemon. I'm not really sure if I should. I'm not sure if I should level up the Shinx instead, but I'm only going to level up, like, one Pokemon. So, if it's the Shinx or the Rattle, then maybe. But, let's do this Pokemon battle thing again. Okay, so now that I'm in actual battle, I can actually go and... I oh! Oh! Okay, so this is very effective, and I am going to definitely use it just because... It is very effective, and I like how it says that if it's effective and not effective against the Pokemon, and if it's just, like, normally effective, then it doesn't say anything. I like that new change and everything, but, um... Oh, um... Okay, um... I should, um... Yeah, I'm gonna take out this Pokemon and just see if I could fight with this Pokemon and see what happens. Yes, 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 yes. Switch your Pokemon. I just switched my Pokemon. Can, can I battle? Okay, thank you. Oh, um... Oh, thank you for... I, I didn't realize I was going to pick something really effective. Okay, so, um... Let's go with Psybeam, and let's see if that works. Leveling up to level 31 is something that actually does help, apparently, because I am doing a lot better than I did last time. I am definitely doing a lot better than last time. And I'm guessing that the last Pokemon is going to be like a pseudo Ludo, so I would probably want to switch my Pokemon to a, um, let me guess, um, I wouldn't want to do a Shinx because I know pseudo Ludo is a, a rock type, so a grass type would not work as well. I would want a fire type because that would work a little bit better, but I don't have any fire types and I'm probably never gonna get one. But catch one. But I do have other moves other than um just grass and electric, so I can use those attacks at least. So yes, yeah, say what your one liner is or whatever you wanna say. And I was right. Leave your pseudo Rudo to the end, and you only have your pseudo Rudo. Oh! Okay, so my, um... Okay, so my starter Pokemon is very strong against the pseudo Rudo. Did not know that. Can, can we... Okay, so you're gonna use that move. I, I completely forgot that. That was something that was in this. Okay, so, yeah, so does it keep the 
Terra thing or what? Okay, so, um... Yeah, Bite is a good move, but I can't go back to my start my starter because my starter... Yeah. So, um... Yeah, why not use the Psychic Pokemon? Psychic Fairy Pokemon, of course. And you're gonna do what? You're gonna do that other that same move again? Okay. And I only have to hit you one more time, and then I... Let's do a side beam. Let's do a side beam again. Okay, I don't know why... Okay, thank you. I was wondering why it didn't hit. But I'm glad that it did, because I finally defeated the pseudo Udo. The only Pokemon I didn't defeat last time. So, do I get a gym badge for doing that, or what? So what I was doing was art or something, like I was battling in a pattern or learning how to defeat the gym leader or something. I, I, I don't know what I was doing, so maybe that's what I was doing. I, I, I don't know what I was doing. I'm just glad that I defeated the gym leader and I can move on with whatever I need to move on with, at least. Okay, so I, I did it, and now I can move on to the next area. I'm getting a guess that I'm going to fight my um, friend and everything, or friend, rival, thi friend. Okay, so I'm guessing that at some point I'm going to be um, battling my friend or rival. I'm not really sure if, if they are a rival or a friend, or both. Maybe both. I'm not really sure, but let's just move on. 
I would catch you, but I only am catching three Pokemon and trying to do this because the more Pokemon I have, the more I have to, like, worry about and the more I have to, like, yes, I can strategize a little bit better, but I would like to be able to just do this. Okay, so it's saying that if I follow the road, I'm going to be entering there, but I am not going to go and en just enter there. I'm going to go and enter over here, and it looks like there's going to be a strong Pokemon. Oh! There's going to be a strong Pokemon battle with this, so I'm going to do it and then just go to the town that I see in the back. And yes, I'm healing my Pokemon even though, but it does give me a checkpoint at least when I do this. At least it does give me a checkpoint, so healing my Pokemon every time I get to a Pokemon Center at least saves the game, so I don't have to worry too much about that. It took me a little bit, but I am finally at the next town, I guess, and I'm guessing that this is where the next gym is and okay so it's an electrical gym so I'm gonna have to be very cautious here and I'm gonna have to make sure that I can do it I do have an electric Pokemon so that's gonna be at least good so first grass then electric I wonder what the next one is maybe fire and I may get my butt handed to me because fire is a weak point for my grass type Pokemon I'm not really sure but it seems like that but Let's just keep moving forward and let's doing let's just do what I need to do of course so Um, okay, uh, let, let, let's just see what I need to do for this challenge and everything. So I have to live stream something and get up subscribers or something or this is just weird but it's a Pokemon game so I'm just gonna go with it. I'm just gonna go with it because it is a Pokemon game and it is I haven't played a Pokemon game since the Game Boy so I it's, this is all new to me.
So, um, this is a thing, I guess. Um, I don't know why I have to play hide and seek with the ma with the um school um principal and everything. I don't know why I have to play hide and seek with the school principal. I just do know that I have to apparently. So let's just do it, I guess. Of course, so I'm gonna have to battle someone before I am able to battle the gym leader at least. So that that is something. And what do you know, uh, Shinx or whatever uh, Luxor, I guess is what it what he he has. Um, wow, I have no good moves, so I'm gonna have to change. Okay, so that did exactly what. Absolutely nothing. You could have hit me and taken out my Pokemon, but instead you can do that. Okay. I still have no idea what's going on. Like I don't understand the rise of defense or the lowering of defense or the lower hiring the speed or lowering the speed. I don't get tactical stuff like that. But at least I can just press a button, have the Pokemon do a move, and I can move on from that. I. I might be stumbling through this game, but that's what I'm probably gonna do for every gym battle and every fight I have in this game. I'm just probably gonna get higher than them in level and then just stumble my way through the fight because I have no idea what I'm doing. This is not something that I am really good with. Like, strategy games, I am not good with. And I guess that this is a sort of a strategy game, I'm not really sure, but... It feels like it. It feels like one. And that was not too hard. I was just higher level and if, if the other person would have attacked me before then maybe I would have failed and had my, had my Pokemon faint and everything but may, maybe if they did, if they attacked, maybe. So it's the same person that that just battled me, apparently. So let's just do what we need to do with this battle and let's just keep going. So I'm guessing that because I'm a higher level, I'm able to just defeat with the same attacks and everything and I'm just able to do this much faster than the last battle just because, yeah, the last battle, having an evolved um, Shinx and everything. Oh, you have more Pokemon. Okay, so, um, I would like to keep my current Pokemon, please. Yeah, I would like to just keep my current Pokemon. Okay, so you have one of those Pokemon, so I need to make sure that I can do this without fail. Okay, so if I do that one more time, I should have... Ugh, not good, but at least I'm high level, so I should be good with what I'm doing. Okay, so I, I got it. I got it. 
Any more Pokemon? Or what? Okay, so I defeated the trainer, of course. So let's just keep moving on with the hide and seek of the principal. Of course, let's just level up. Uh, let's go heal my Pokemon, of course, so I can go and fight the gym leader and do what I need to do there because I do need to level up and heal my Pokemon. So I will be going and doing a little bit of um, using the rare candies that I have and go and heal at the same time as going and leveling up with the rare candies, of course. So. With my rare candies, I will like to use item. Let's go and yeah, my starter Pokemon should be a good um a, a good. Oh, I have more. How many do I have? Okay, let's use all three, and then I'll use the um HP up on my Shing just because. Yes, thank you. Now my PP up on Shing. Oh, that's just okay. Don't need to use that, of course. Really don't need to use that. So, yeah, let's just keep going and let's just heal up and then get back to the gym. Okay, let's go fight this streamer, of course, just because we need to go and get the gym badge, because I am trying to get all the gym badges, and then just go and, I guess, after that, defeat the Elite Four. I'm not really sure if there is an Elite Four, as I keep saying, because I don't know what has, how much has changed within this, so maybe there is an Elite Four, maybe not, I'm not really sure.
Okay, so that's not gonna be a challenge and everything. I do know electrical Pokemon are, or just my Shinx is strong against bird Pokemon, so that that's a good thing. So using Spark is a good idea here, just because it does really well with flying Pokemon. Meaning it takes out the flying Pokemon with ease, of course. When you are level 33, of course, it does do a good job. So let's keep the Pokemon I have, and then let's see what else I have to fight. Okay, so this was not a good idea. This was definitely not a good idea to keep out, so... Um... Uh... Yeah, why not go with my, um... Starter Pokemon. My starter Pokemon is gonna be better than my Shrink, of course, so... That's gonna be good. Okay, so I should just be able to, like, uh, yeah, let's use this and let's see if it works. Okay, so it doesn't work and I have to use now my Psychic Pokemon, of course. That, that is definitely a thing that I have to do now. I have to now use my, um, my Psychic Pokemon. Thought it would take out the Shinx or Luxor and everything, so, um... Yeah, why not computer? Let's try whatever. I, I don't know if I'm doing this correctly or not. Let's just try whatever and let's see if I can do it. So I took out the Luxor and everything, so that's a good thing. That I was able to do that with my Shinx, even though my Psychic Pokemon did go and faint. So keep current Pokemon, please, because I would like to... Okay, not good. I don't know who this Pokemon is, maybe one of the new Pokemon that are, that's in this game. Maybe specifically for this game, I'm not really sure, but I'm gonna have to... Okay, I'm gonna have to go and change my Pokemon if I want to do better. Maybe change my Pokemon, maybe. So, um... Wow. Not, none of my Pokemon are strong again. Really effective or strong enough. Wow. So, um, yeah, why not change and let's do, um, my starter Pokemon, maybe? I, I, I'm not really sure on what I'm doing. I'm just chancing everything because that's what I'm guessing is gonna work. I really don't know. Okay, so you're gonna attack and not have a really strong attack, but you're gonna attack me well enough, I guess. Not good. Okay, so I'm gonna have to heal up. I'm gonna have to heal up. And if, why did I heal the other Pokemon? Why I did? I chose the wrong Pokemon. Now I need. I'm glad it didn't. My my starter didn't just faint and everything. So let's use it on the correct Pokemon this time. <coughs> Okay, thank you. At least now I do know that my potions and my leveling up of my Pokemon is a good thing that I did because, wow, having my Pokemon higher level than the um, gym leaders is a good idea. Okay, so I can't move. I can't really do anything there, so I'm gonna have to at least... Let's try that move. Let's just try that move to see if that would work, I hope. Okay, so if I do that one more time, I should be able to, at least, be able to take out, um, her Pokemon. I'm basically guessing that all trainers, meaning all the gym leader trainers, are gonna use that move at the end, and, wow, just another triple, um, move set now. That... He is not good. That's so not good. Um. Wow, I am so not doing well. Um, I need to heal up as soon as possible, please. I would like to not die, please, or faint. Not my Pokemon can't die, of course. They can and everything, but I just need to heal up my Pokemon. Jeez. So not good with 
doing this. Like, I am so not good with, with doing any of what I am doing. Like, I, yeah, I should have done a lot. I should do a lot better at doing this, but I really don't know what I'm doing. I am so not understanding what I'm doing. I'm just using random moves because it seems like doing random moves is working somehow. And why do I keep pressing Pokemon when I'm trying to go to my bag, of course? Let's try healing up fully and then see how that works, because if that works, then that's good. But at least I do know that I do have enough uh, heals, so I can wait out the big attack. Okay. So not good. So, um... Yeah, why not use a revive on uh, my psychic Pokemon and let's see how that works because I could go and do that and yes my starter Pokemon is gonna faint of course but I can go and at least use my psychic Pokemon I guess I'm not really sure but that's what I'm guessing not really good I am so not good at this game I am so not good at this game it's like every time I get into a rhythm of being able to defeat um trainers and Pokemon, there's at least the gym leader where I will have to level up a little bit more on. Ugh. I am really not doing well at this game. I am just stumbling through this and wow, I need to level up Pokemon and need to evolve them at least. I need to do that at least. So I'm going to have to evolve at least one of my Pokemon so they can be at least a little bit stronger and better in what they need to do. So wow, I am so not good with this game. I am so, so not good with this game. I do need to level up and yeah, but at least I do know that I have to do stuff like that, so that's uh, at least a good thing, so I will be doing that in between the episodes because I am going to leave this episode here, of course, so the next time one of my Pokemon does level up, I'm going to level them up. I sort of have to. It's not like I want to or anything, but I sort of have to, so yeah, but anyway, at least now I know what I'm up against and what I have to do, so yeah, I can just prepare for that, of course, and everything. Maybe I'll level up the Shinx or my psychic Pokemon, I'm not really sure, but my starter will always be at its base form, of course, so that is going to be a thing. But anyway, I am having a lot of fun during this, very confused at what I'm doing because I don't really understand it, but at least I'm stumbling through whatever I'm doing, and I'm at least doing something, at least, so, yeah, but anyway, I am just gonna leave this episode here, and I am just going to go, see ya! If you like this video, hit that like button, if you want more videos by me, give a boy, subscribe button, and I'll see you guys in the next, Woo